Hello and welcome to WePC. Now, Windows 11 hasn't exactly got off to the best start yet. If you watched our previous video on how to check if you can install Windows 11, then many of you were probably met with an error explaining that you cannot run the OS. Now, it's not just you. Even our most high-end builds were met with the same error. However, it became very clear that it is your pesky BIOS that is causing the issue. Now, in order for PC Health Check and indeed Windows 11 to pass its initial checks, you need to have Secure Boot enabled in the motherboard BIOS, as well as having a TPM 2.0 chip, which stands for Trusted Platform Module, which quite possibly is something that you have never heard of, let alone know if you actually have one. For those that aren't familiar with the process of enabling TPM, well, I'll be going over how to enable it in this simple step-by-step -step guide, so let's jump straight into it. It's worth noting that Intel and AMD offer different terminology for TPM. Intel refers to it as PTT and AMD refer to it as FTPM. Okay, so reboot your PC and get to your BIOS by slamming the F2, F11 or delete keys like it's a game of competitive whack-a-mole. If your BIOS menu is set to easy mode, you'll want to change that into advanced mode. You can do this by pressing F2 inside of the BIOS or clicking the option within the sidebar. Inside advanced mode, simply navigate to the settings bar by clicking it. Inside settings, you'll see a miscellaneous tab, double click it to enter. Once inside miscellaneous, you should see an an option for Intel Platform Trust Technology or PTT. This is Intel's CPM feature. Simply click it and select Enable from the drop-down menu. And at this point, you can simply restart your PC by navigating to the Save and Exit tab. Alongside enabling TPM in the motherboard's BIOS, you will also have to enable Secure Boot as well. This will enable you to complete a full installation of Windows 11 successfully, and here are the steps required. Once again, jump into the BIOS by slamming F2 or Delete like you've just lost a competitive game of Valorant. Again, you'll need to select the advanced mode to enable secure boot. You can do this again by pressing F2 or selecting it from the side menu. When using the advanced mode, simply click the boot option from the top menu. Simply navigate to the secure boot tab and select it. Finally, click the secure boot option and change it from disabled to enabled. And once you finish this, simply click the save and exit option and restart your PC. This will enable both TPM and secure boot on your PC. Having said all of this, Windows 11 is still some ways off. So knowing whether or not you'll actually need to use these steps come the official Windows 11 launch isn't certain just yet. But if this did help you, I would love if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, go to the description down below. You'll find a link to our Discord server where we are all located. I've been Jay. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.